Hello guys and welcome to some Panzer Storm gameplay with the AA tank on the British team. Now guys, there's only two AA tanks, anti-air tanks in the whole of Battlefield 5. And we're playing with the one that... Oh, hello. We're playing with the one on the British team here. Now, this gun really does overheat. Vehicle destroyed with a vehicle hit of 72% damage. So, had he been at full health, he probably would have evaded at us. But had he been in a better trajectory, we'd have had an opportunity to do full health damage. Anyway, guys, what are we using right now is a big question. Well, we're using a level 4 max upgraded British anti-air tank. And check it out. We upgraded what we started with was a single cannon on the front to three cannons. And additionally, as part of that change, we changed the weapon, you know, the bullet type that we're shooting. So apparently this bullet type that I'm using right now is some sort of uh, incendiary uh, bullet that it's really good at. Anti-air, some sort of flak bullet, I don't know. It's better at killing enemy aircraft, basically. Check this out, enemy Stuka, let's see how good it is on this enemy Stuka. He's quite far away. And these bullets have a long time to travel to get to the destination. To be honest, there's no chance of killing him at this range. We need to get much closer if he's at full health. Oh, look at that. He's... That's what it looks like from the ground, guys, when the Spitfire deploys his spoke on the ground. Really, that is really useful in support of your team in specific scenarios. I bet, I bet someone who's really coordinated with his team could really use that to his advantage. Anyway... So what have we got? We got that. I think that was just the level 2 upgrade. You know, converting this into three cannons at the front. I think that was just the level 2. Here we go. But we are on a level 4 anti-air tank, so there's more upgrades to talk about. The vehicle hit 54. And we've overheated. Oh, we got the vehicle destroyed. Did we get the kill? Yeah, we got the kill. Nice. What's that? We did 90 damage before he landed <laughs> from his parachute. <laughs> ah, well. Looks like someone's trying to shoot us at a ridiculous range with an anti-air gun of some sort. So, yeah, what else have we got? We've got, if, if I switch, so we've got smoke. We can deploy smoke like this. Boom, that's my smoke deployment. Standard stuff, to be honest. I think that was level 3. And then at level 4... I think I've got my order wrong, but at level 4, we definitely have this one, which is called Airburst Smoke. Really good on the ground. Look at that. Look at that. That is an asset to the team, right? Let's use our Airburst Smoke Shell on this infantry. Yeah, the Airburst Smoke is really use useless at infantry, and it, to be honest, it helps them have cover. <laughs> you don't want to be using it at infantry, and apparently not in tanks either. I've just done vehicle hit. Zero on that tank, but I've also stopped him from seeing what the hell's going on. I've completely covered him in smoke, man. That that land ship. He's in there somewhere. <laughs> no idea where that guy actually is. See, look, now we've switched back to our primary. Oh, taking damage from an enemy tank. Uh, I. What's going on? Deployed the smoke. Try and be a bit unpredictable. Deploy more smoke. Yeah, he doesn't know where I am. He doesn't know where I am. Where's my smokes, man? More smokes. As I retreat. There we go. This looks like a good place to uh, to heal. There's an enemy infantry on my six. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> anyway, things I want to test right now is... How good are the primary cannons? You know, we've already tested that out a bit. I want to see a bit, you know, a bit uh, more thoroughly how good it is at killing enemy aircraft, this primary weapon, and how good the airburst shell is at killing enemy aircraft. We saw it has, this airburst shell has strategic value on the ground, no, I'm switching to it. That is strategic value on the ground, but look at it in the air. No, I'll deploy it in the air, it's pretty pants in the air. I doubt this is going to be good at the air because look the smoke that I just deployed in the air has already disappeared it's useless so the only value of this thing is to cover the infantry on the ground and cover yourself I guess we just got to confirm that though by sh actually hitting a target in the air with it I mean it's a level 4 upgrade so you want it to be good 
this guy, I think he's asking for a lift. Is he? You want a lift? No, you're just on your own. Mate, you are completely exposed out in the open here. Ah, oh, there you go. Fair enough. Let's go find some enemy aircraft. Is that one? I think that's a friendly Spitfire. No, that's a BF-109. <laughs> Piss off with this smoke. It's useless. Alright, forget the smoke. It's useless, that killing aircraft. Honestly. I think there's an aircraft coming in. Yep, here we go. BF-109. We're going to cancel this repair in a sec. Where are you going? Right, primary weapon. Oh, I did not expect him to survive. He's played really well by flying low. Well played, my friend. Well played. Alright, so that's the uh, British Valentin anti-air tank. Let's check out the German Wind, which has a better level 4 upgrade than what I just used now. Okay, so guys, this is the Valentin anti-air MK1 tank that we've just been using, and this is the specializations path I chose. The level 4 upgrades that were available was case round, clusters, steel balls, effective, basically like a shotgun pellet, shotgun, yeah, effective against infantry and apparently light armor as well. I didn't want to do this because it's an anti-air tank and I, I want to be killing uh, air targets, I'm going to choose this, so uh, I went down the right side because of this, specifically this here, the three times, I don't know how to pronounce this, early con 20 millimeter, which is an airburst shell, most effective against aircraft, naturally. So that's the only upgrade that you can choose, which is good against aircraft, and it's an anti-air tank. So it makes sense to go down here, that's why I've chosen this, and we were just testing it out. It is quite powerful at killing enemy aircraft, but it just overheats a bit. Uh, so it's not like a guaranteed kill. You've also got the airburst smoke shells, which are completely useless. But I guess I sh maybe I should have tried out the parachute flares. In fact, I'm going to try that out for next time. I'm just going to quickly reset this. We've also got this uh, smoke launcher here. And what what can I choose here? Impro improved tra transverse rotation faster. Turret turning speed versus radar package. To be honest, I was not even checking my radar. So I'm going to try out this faster turning speed. Because I actually felt that as a hindrance at one point. Now, what can I choose? Track skirts, which is just for defensive, when I really want to just be good at killing enemy aircraft. So we'll choose that flat cannon and then the parachute flares. We're going to test that out next time we use this thing. Now, if we go over to the German team, the only other anti-air tank in Battlefield 5, this is a notorious tank for being a complete nuisance in both this game and apparently War Thunder as well. This thing is really uh, <laughs> annoying War Thunder, but it's got a really cool looking level 4 upgrade compared to the British which was really unimpressive as a level 4 upgrade. This one's a flaming onion round, incendiary anti-aircraft ammunition that causes fire and keeps burning after impact. Great, that sounds really cool, we're going to try that out now. We also went down here to get a radar package and a 37mm flak, 20mm uh, fires airburst shells that are most effective against aircraft, which actually swapped for what you started with which was four times uh, uh, some sort of guns that were, I don't know, four times some sort of guns but this apparently is better at killing aircraft uh fast rotation speed these upgrades are much more exciting than the damn british so the germans i don't know they're much more exciting when it comes to this what else can we have chosen a thick paste applies to exterior which prevents sticky explosives from attaching to my tank fair enough i mean it's never going to be that useful to be honest is it most people shooting you with the panzer faust when they're infantry smoke launcher and s mine launcher could be interesting and fun you know to troll some infantry could be good and those pointless smoke shells that no one is ever really getting value out of so yeah i'm gonna try out these flame these flaming onion rounds let's go guys all right hello guys this is the whirlwind back on the panzerfaust map we've just equipped i don't know if you can see in the bottom right i'm equipping my flaming onion round let's go test this out on an enemy aircraft see how good it is and also Let's just test out the normal round on the enemy aircraft to see how good that is and maybe see a difference. So we're expecting this to be much more powerful than the British anti-air tank for the reason that the level 4 upgrade is designed... You know, you've got more upgrades designed to kill aircraft basically. So that for that single reason, I'm expecting this to be a superior anti-air weapon than the British team. The only challenge is, can we... Get an aircraft. I don't think the uh, teams can spawn two aircraft on this map on, on Conquest. And this is Conquest. You can only play this map on Conquest at this time. Alright, that's an enemy bomber. There's no way I can hit him from this range, surely. 
I've, have I got my flaming onion round on? Yeah, I do. Flaming onion round engaged. Where'd that bomber go? There he is. He's way too far away, surely. Oh no, I'm getting hits. Yeah, come my way, come my way. You can see I'm getting incendiary hits. After hitting the target. To be honest, this isn't actually very powerful at killing enemy aircraft. I reckon this is better at killing infantry. Oh, look at that, he's jump C. Let's quickly switch to the main cannon now. Because I've given up. Did he crash? No, he's, he's still going. Really got to lead your shot, just like the British tank. Good. I'm glad they're the, mostly the same in that sense. Let's see if we can lead and get him. We got a lot of leading to do. It's not easy at range. Woo! We got the kill. But that was not easy at range. Wow, we're doing a lot of damage to that land vehicle. Light vehicle over there. Woo! We got a triple kill. No, a double kill. I don't get it. Sometimes you get three skulls when it's a double kill. I don't understand what's going on. No, we've tested out flaming onion rounds. They're not that impressive. Now I just want to test. Actually, let's test flaming onion rounds on this infantry so we can burn him alive. Look at that. There's just fire on the ground. There's a guy right here. Look, let's use our incendiary on him. It's reloading. There we go. One on the head. Is he on fire? Yeah, he's on fire. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. So, flaming onion round is only good at infantry, not at aircraft. Now I know. He did say it was good at aircraft, but quite frankly, you'd rather use the primary weapon. There's one. That's a mosquito. Hard to kill a target perpendicular, but wow, it does a ton of damage when you land. 35 damage on him already. That's incredible. He's going to have to turn back toward us, right? That would make sense. He's still out of range. Oh, he's coming for me. He's down, because you cannot go head-to-head, -head, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. You can't go head-to-head -head with an anti-air tank. Not since the December patch. What was that? Was that... <laughs> I think that mosquito just killed himself. No, he's still moving. Let's get him on his way back. My turret's damaged. Look, it wasn't rotating very fast. Now it's back. All right, here we go. Head-to-head. -head. Are you coming head to head? Yeah, you can't go head to head, buddy. He's down. Yeah, what is that? Is that a Spitfire? Yeah, okay. So we can kill him. Really got to lead those shots. He was too far away to begin with to manage that kill. Anyway, that's the Werewolf win. What do you guys think? It's obviously good against aircraft. What's more to say? Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.